I had a question from DJ Waterman how I did those line extrusions in a post. So I'll try to show you how I did it here. This is something you can do in Blender fairly easily. Uh, it does have some problem there as well, but generally speaking, what we're doing is creating a line surface. And you notice here that I'll go to the edge. This is quite important that when you roll over an edge that you end the point there or you will have trouble creating the, the surface later on because we are going to reconstruct the surface and if you have a line going over an edge you will actually go under that edge and we can't have that. But like I was saying in Blender you can do this fairly easily. It, it does have some problem there as well, but I won't go into it here. Okay, we got our basic shape here. And now we need to reconstruct it. Don't worry about this miscoloration of this polygon because we're going to delete it anyway. So and cre recreate the surface. And first we're going to have a look and to see where the surface lines are so we can recreate everything. Uh, I prefer to create from the inside out and I use, try to keep to quads if possible. It doesn't really matter if it's quads or tries but it will help you to get a better shape later on if you stick to quads. But like I said it's not a re real requirement per se. Uh, this small polygon here well, I, I think we'll skip that polygon later, but I don't want to redo the video. So, uh, as you can see now, I'm trying to make quads when I can, and you need to pay attention to the difference between convex and concave surfaces, because if you do it the wrong way, you will have edge polygons that go over other polygons and we can't have that so try to remember how you create those quads and like I said we need to orientate ourselves to get a proper view and I like to go from inside out and just because it helps in the recreation process and helps you avoid making stupid mistakes so and I, like I said, try to stick to quads. And don't worry about the triangles. Um, this process is something that I would hope that Lightwave group address. Because <laughs> recreating like this is really kind of, you know, annoying. And if you have a more complicated shape, it's could be really <laughs> prohibitive. Uh, as you well know, we have created a line and it's a two point polygon, but don't get the idea to delete it too early or you will destroy the very lines you need to recreate the surface. It, you also need to deal with it later and I will show you what happens if you forget to remove these two point polygons later on. And here I created two uh, triangles first because if you create a quad here, you, you have to deal with those edgy polygons I mentioned. And then here I created an inner one. I Generally, when I build things up like this, I try to build it up in such a way so it produces as few polygons as possible to just make my life easier. Some of will probably make a proper plugin or you can write the script that does this also. But I don't do this very often so it's not so much of a problem because I if I want to do things like this I tend to use other programs. And there is no real 
silver bullet to this in any software re really because you can find problems in practically all software in one way or another <coughs> excuse me <laughs> had a bit of cold I'm dealing with so uh, I was talking about this two line polygons but before we do anything we need to copy to a new layer so we don't destroy what we have done already <coughs> so we're going to extrude the surface so we just begin with marking out the territory that I've defined again this polygon I mentioned earlier I'm going to skip but so ignore that so let's see here set cc oh yeah uh, set cc won't work if you have anything selected but let's extrude first as you can see now with smooth shift it kind of bulges the extrusion and yes you can tweak it a bit but you know you don't get away from the fact that it creates and distorts the surface uh, with smooth scale yeah not really happening there is it so what we're going to use is multi shift or multi shift and yes it also destroys the surface kind of like what blender does actually in a way and but we're going to change it to normal groups and contour and still nothing happens but we need to remove the inset amount to get away from this destruction of the surfaces so here we are and this looks much better and looks more like an extrusion of the type we want so set it a value you like and regroup the polygons because we don't want them to be individually detached from each other you can of course merge them later if you forgot but uh, now if you subdivide surface you will see that you have an, uh, quite an ugly edge we want to have the shape we extruded and we can fix this and again the same thing with CC notice that there are indentations there this is because of the 2D polygons or two, 2 point polygons not 2D polygons what I'm saying so we get rid of that and we merge just for safety it shouldn't happen anything but again like before we we see this in this but in this case much better surface but still it's kind of a smooth rounded edge and we don't want that we want the shape to be visible so what we do is we create an edge loop and just make sure that everything is round and then you push it towards the edge there and again upwards this will help us define a more attractive well if you can call this shape attractive uh, surface so it looks much better and because we are using CC's we will automatically get quads only for the surface which is exactly what we want and uh, we freeze it and of course we have this problem with the polygons um, sometimes if you have worked with earlier texture texture surfaces you can uh, try use uh, reusing the old ones for a smoothing edge but for some reason sometimes it doesn't work and um, just create a new one rename the old one whatever it will work out it's not really a big problem but 
Here we are. This looks more like the thing we were after to begin with. Uh, someone else also mentioned the fact that we can use uh, 3D Power's knife. However, with the knife it goes through the object. It, it cuts on all sides of the objects with the knife. And we don't really want that, so I will show some examples of that. We just copy and hold the previous model. Uh, don't worry about this. Since it doesn't really work anyway, it's not a big problem, but you can just have a look. Anyway, uh, let's select the tool, uh, knife, and then we create a cut. We won't really see anything because I'm not in an edge mode. But as you can see, it just cuts and it's no, it just just use the standard surface. We can do a bit of a cut here, we can try curves. Nothing really happens. Not that we can see we can just cut it through and now you will see what happens and this is why when we use a line tool when it cuts it cuts only on the surf top surface that we are interested in I'm not interested in using a knife that cuts through everything <laughs> and 3d powers could do with an upgrade to limit the cutting to just the surface you're drawing on. Another annoying thing is that when you're cutting like this, it doesn't cut as you are looking at it. It, it kind of shifts a bit. So, again, yeah, let's get rid of that thing. Just find something we can look at. Anyway, uh, so we cut here, and you see it kind of cuts from the side. It, it offsets from the cut where you were looking at. And this is something I actually don't like with a 3D Powers knife. Because when I'm looking at a cut, I want it to cut w according to the angle from where I'm looking. If it shifts to the side, I, I don't have the control I want, you see, and it cuts all the way through, which is exactly what we don't want. Like I said, it could, it could limit itself to just the surface where I'm actually doing the cuts. So anyway, my point is that it doesn't work. So you really should stay away from that too. It's much better to do it with the line and manually like I showed you and get this nice surface instead. It's a bit dragged out, this example. You can do this in, in minutes. It's actually quite a, quite a fast process once you have some knowledge on how to do it. <laughs> 